41. Who's there? St. Peter's first letter was written to believers whom he called strangers or sojourners, quote, throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia and Bithynia. 1 Peter 1.1. 1, 1. Their previous character had been bad. Before their conversion, they had been drunks, spendthrifts and idolatrous and lascivious men. Now people were surprised by their conduct. They think it's strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you. 1 Peter 4.4 4. Thus, Peter tells us first that the changed lives of the new Christians seemed strange or surprising to their friends and neighbours. They were shocked that these recently wild men were now so different. Second, instead of being happy about it, these observers spoke evil of the new Christians. The godliness of the convert does not please the ungodly. Instead, it creates resentment. But notice this important fact. They could see the difference in these new Christians, whether they liked it or not. When I was in high school, a prominent California pastor died suddenly of a heart attack, and the next day the newspaper published an account of his career. One shocked reader of the obituary was a man who worked in the mountains nearby in the spring and summer as a guide for trout fishermen. He said, I've taken him fishing for years and I never knew he was a minister. If people can't see a difference in our lives as Christians, then something's wrong. If Jesus Christ does not make a difference in our lives, it's because he's not there. Your mirror will only reflect your face. Your actions will reflect the presence of someone else, if he is there. Who is there in your actions?